Signs of HIV in women, understanding your body's signals. Picture this. Every 9.5 minutes, someone in the United States receives life-changing news. They've tested positive for HIV. But what's even more alarming is that one in nine people living with HIV don't even know they have it. In women, this silent battle is particularly challenging. In Sub-Saharan Africa, young women aged 15 to 24 are twice as likely to be living with HIV as young men. In South Africa alone, over 4.8 million women are living with HIV. Thailand reports that 440,000 women are affected, while in Brazil, nearly 920,000 people live with HIV, with women making up about 35% of cases. Here in the United States, the CDC reports that women account for 19% of new HIV diagnoses, with the highest rates in the southern states. But here's the real tragedy. Many women discover their HIV status when it's already progressed to AIDS, simply because they didn't recognize the early warning signs their bodies were sending them. Understanding HIV stages in women. Let's break down the stages of HIV, or what happens when HIV enters a woman's body, explained in a way that everyone can understand. Stage 1, the initial battle or acute HIV infection. Think of your body like a castle and HIV like an invader that's just breached the walls. Within two to four weeks after infection, your body realizes there's an intruder and fights back. During this time, you might experience a fever that comes and goes, like when you have the flu. Muscle aches that make you feel like you've done a really hard workout. A sore throat that reminds you of strep throat. A rash that appears suddenly and might go away on its own. Night sweats that leave your pajamas damp. For example, Sarah, a 32-year-old teacher from Atlanta, shares her experience. I thought I just had a really bad case of the flu. I had a fever, felt extremely tired, and had these night sweats that would soak through my clothes. I never imagined it could be HIV. Stage 2, the quiet period, or clinical latency. This is like the calm before the storm. The virus is still in your body, but it's working quietly. This stage can last for several years, and many women feel perfectly healthy during this time. However, regular checkups and blood tests can reveal what's happening behind the scenes. Stage 3, the crisis point, or AIDS. Without treatment, HIV eventually weakens your immune system so much that it progresses to AIDS. At this point, women might experience the following signs and symptoms of AIDS stage. 1. Weight loss. When a woman loses weight without trying to diet or exercise, it's like her body is using up all its energy to fight against HIV. Imagine you have a car that's using up all its fuel even when it's just sitting in the parking lot. That's what's happening in the body. The virus makes it hard for the body to use the food and nutrients properly, so even if she's eating normally, her body can't keep its healthy weight. Some women might lose 10 pounds or more without even trying. 2. Fever and night sweats. The fever and night sweats happen because the body is working extra hard to fight the virus. Kind of like when you're running a race and your body heats up. But in this case, the body's temperature control system gets confused. Think of it like a broken thermostat in your house. Sometimes it gets too hot, causing fever, and then the body tries to cool down by sweating, especially at night. A woman might wake up with her pajamas and sheets completely wet, even in a cool room. 3. Fatigue and tiredness. Extreme tiredness in AIDS is different from just feeling sleepy after a busy day. Imagine your body is like a phone battery that won't charge properly anymore. The virus makes it hard for the body's cells to produce energy. And at the same time, the body is using lots of energy trying to fight the virus. It's like trying to run a marathon when you haven't slept for days. Even simple things like walking upstairs or cooking dinner can feel exhausting. 4. Skin Problems the blotches that appear on or under the skin are like warning signals from the body. When HIV becomes AIDS, it weakens the immune system so much that other infections can easily attack the body. These infections can cause different colored spots or patches on the skin, 
Some might be purple, red or brown. Think of your skin like a window showing what's happening inside your body. These spots might be flat or raised, and sometimes they don't go away easily like regular bruises do. 5. Mental Conditions Depression and mental health changes happen for two reasons. First, the virus can affect the brain directly, changing how it works and how a person feels. Second, dealing with a serious illness is really hard emotionally. Imagine carrying a heavy backpack everywhere you go. It makes everything harder and can make you feel sad or worried all the time. Women might feel less interested in things they used to enjoy, have trouble sleeping, or feel very anxious about their health. These feelings are real and important, just like any physical symptom. Women's Specific Symptoms and Challenges Dr. Maria Rodriguez, an HIV specialist at Johns Hopkins, explains that women face unique challenges when it comes to HIV. For instance, Dr. Maria Rodriguez says that women often experience gynecological symptoms that men obviously don't have. These can include 1. Changes in menstrual cycles. When HIV advances to AIDS, it can really mix up a woman's menstrual cycle, kind of like a clock that starts running at different speeds. The virus affects hormones, Think of hormones like special messengers in your body that help control when periods happen. Some women might notice their periods become irregular, they don't come when expected, while others might have heavier or lighter periods than usual. It's like your body's monthly calendar getting scrambled because the virus is interfering with how your body keeps track of time. Two more severe PMS symptoms. PMS, or premenstrual syndrome symptoms becoming more severe, is like turning up the volume on body signals that were already there. Remember how it feels when you hit your thumb with a hammer? It hurts more than it should. That's what happens with PMS when a woman has AIDS. Normal PMS things like mood swings, cramps and feeling bloated become much stronger. It's because the weakened immune system and hormone changes make the body more sensitive like turning up the dial on a radio until everything sounds really loud. 3. Frequent yeast infections Frequent yeast infections happen because AIDS weakens the body's security system or immune system. Think of your body like a castle. Normally it has strong walls and guards, immune cells, that keep bad guys like yeast from growing too much. But when AIDS weakens these defenses, Yeast can grow wild, kind of like weeds in an untended garden. This causes uncomfortable itching and discharge that keeps coming back, even after treatment, because the body can't fight off the yeast as well as it used to. 4. Pelvic Inflammatory Disease Pelvic Inflammatory Disease, or PID in women with AIDS, is like having a fire spread through the reproductive system. When AIDS weakens the immune system, bacteria that normally wouldn't cause much trouble can sneak in and cause serious infections in the uterus, fallopian tubes and nearby organs. Imagine if your body's firefighters, immune cells, are too weak to put out small fires, they can quickly grow into big ones. This can cause pain in the lower belly and can even make it harder to have babies later if not treated quickly. Five. Abnormal pap smears. Abnormal pap smears happen more often in women with AIDS because the immune system can't fight off certain viruses that can cause changes in the cervix or the entrance to the uterus. It's like having a security camera, i.e. pap smear, that spots trouble in your garden, i.e. cervix. But now it's finding more weeds or abnormal cells because the gardener, or immune system, is too weak to keep the garden healthy. These changes need to be watched carefully by doctors because they could lead to more serious problems if not caught early. That's why it's super important for women with AIDS to get regular pap smears. They're like regular checkups for your garden to make sure everything is growing the way it should. Current research and treatment for HIV AIDS the landscape of HIV treatment has changed dramatically. 
Today's medications are more effective and have fewer side effects than ever before. Recent studies show that people living with HIV who receive proper treatment can live just as long as those without HIV. Breaking news in HIV research. Long-acting injectable medications that only need to be taken once every two months. Promising vaccine trials showing positive results. New prevention methods specifically designed for women. HIV elite controllers, nature's miracle. Meet Lisa, one of the rare elite controllers, people whose bodies naturally control HIV without medication. Scientists are studying people like Lisa to understand how their immune systems fight the virus so effectively. This research could lead to new treatments or even a cure. HIV testing and early detection. The key to managing HIV is early detection. Modern HIV tests are quick and highly accurate. For instance, rapid tests can give results in 20 minutes. Home testing kits are now available. Regular testing is recommended for sexually active women. Remember, different tests have different window periods. The most accurate results come from getting tested three months after potential exposure. HIV prevention and empowerment. Knowledge is power. Here are ways women can protect themselves. Understanding and using PrEP or pre-exposure prophylaxis. Regular testing with sexual partners. Using protection consistently. Getting regular checkups and screenings. Remember, your body is constantly sending you signals. Learning to recognize and respond to these signals isn't just about HIV. It's about taking control of your health and your future. If you notice any unusual changes, don't wait. Get tested. Know your status. Take charge of your health. Remember Jessica's words. Finding out I had HIV was scary, but it wasn't the end. With treatment, support, and education, I'm living a full, healthy life. The key was catching it early and taking action. Visit your healthcare provider or local clinic for HIV testing. For more information about HIV prevention, testing, and treatment, visit the CDC website or call the National HIV Hotline at 1-800-CDC-INFO.